Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 98 of Let's Play Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, a horsebound lord. We are attacking this uh, city of Sargot. We're going to take it from the Vlandians and then destroy the rest of Vlandia. I uh, do apologize that we had to abruptly end in the last one. Unfortunately, we did run out of time. Because, um, uh, you know, the battles can take anywhere from, like, three minutes minimum to about five, ten minutes, so... I didn't want to, uh, you know, shoehorn it into the last part and kind of get myself killed quickly to make it fit. Because that's not fun for you guys. So I thought I'd leave it for today's part. Let's get into a good battle, you know? That way I can still fight properly and just not try to get myself killed. But they have a lot of bow bowmen on the wall. What the fuck? Yeah, they are really trying right now to, like, you know, stop our bow unit. Unfortunately for them, we are drastically better at bow, you know, bow combat or ranged combat. Because as good as the Valandian sergeants are, they are not their special unit. And I don't actually think there is a special unit who is a crossbow, which is very unfortunate. The crossbows are awesome. But, uh, yeah, um... Noble units always outdo other units, which is why I said the Fiend Champions are probably, like, the only units that can, like, stand against um, ours on, like, land. And by on land, I mean, like, in, like, Siege is what I meant. Alright, if I get this at the right angle, I can clear out those guys over there, but they're not shooting at my men. Not the one I aimed for, but I'll take it. Perfect. Get the Tanyan hero down. On the crossbowman. Oh shit, they bought reinforcements. Man, can you, you can get past me, right? Yeah, you can. I actually, I'm really liking my position to shoot at the enemy, right? Ooh. These assholes are aiming at me, so we need to use a few of them. I think a lot of them only have light crossbows, but still. Light crossbows still goddamn hurt. Be able to take them out completely over there. Yeah, they're retreating now. Good. I think they're probably gonna get enough to the keep, to be fair. Like, if I'm honest. Unless we can kill seven. Uh, no, oh, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna be able to kill enough. Right, I'm going to retreat. Actually, you know, it looks like we could have put this in the last part. Oh, well. Sorry about that, guys. Turns out we absolutely decimated them in Sargot. How many troops did we put here, by the way? Good enough, 169. The funny number. Good to Jacqueline. Yeah. Already, we've taken three very important things from them. And now, we're going to take another important thing from them. Four territory is... It's something I don't think Bannerlord really ex does really a good job of, like, noting. But, like, if you, like, think about it this way, if you take core territory from someone, you're taking the territory that they get their troops from. But that doesn't really matter, because they can recruit other troops. What, it, what the, the main... Oh, you cunt. Oh, this... No, no, no. Retreat. No, retreat. I'm... Do this alone. I'm not wasting my men, because I know for a fact I would lose men on that, so I'm... No, they can fuck off. They're not, you know, we're not piecing them out. Uh, I did... I just wanted to see that, but... The fuck? 
Um, okay, disband the army for now. Um, what? Okay, so... Yeah, I'm making a million. I am now very confused. Yes, okay, the game the game has Okay, yeah, this uh, it, it did this in my um what's it called campaign. Um <laughs> the Eagle Rising one. <laughs> At some point the game's just like, yeah, please we'll just just have all the money. Like, you know, they physically don't have this amount of money, but you know, have all of their money. Right. Yeah, this is a uh... I don't even know what to do because now it's like I don't want this money but at the same time I can't complain it's loads of free money I should have just continued pushing okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what I do last time I'm gonna raise my criminal rating up even more again We're going to go sit down here. That's it for knowing. No, I don't want you. Get the fuck out. I just want the people who I like. I'm actually like, I actually like. By that, I mean, I mean, my clan mates. Where is Gavin the Father? He's over in Saga. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of time. Actually, food. We need to buy food. Booger. Um, Huntsman. He has very low bow skill. How dare. Okay. Trade. Uh, just all your food. Nope. All of those two. There we go. Perfect. I'll do for now, I think. All right, Gavin the Father, let's fuck you then. Everyone over it. There's no way I'm not just continue pushing, like, gonna continue pushing these guys as long as I need to. There he is. Right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, back to war. They could at least respect the fact that I don't actually burn their villages down. Like, I just use it as a, a war decking mechanic. I don't think Vlandia really sees it that way, to be fair, but, you know, it'd be nice if they did. Right, there we go. We can now take this city like I wanted to originally. Right, let's do this. Take this settlement, and then we're, um... Well. Then we'll just push up into, like, past the mountains. And, uh, just continue breaking the back of the, uh, Vlandians. Yeah, that was a little bit of a long shot for me. And by long shot, I mean like a long shot in the uh, sense of I didn't really like I didn't really take enough time to take the shot out. But I, I can make long shots. I mean, it's not that hard. It's just a bit of a pain sometimes. I do kind of feel bad for Vlandia because I'm just kind of running them over now. It's got to the point where the campaign is basically like we could end this campaign in, a, in like maybe a part or two at this point. So it's like, let's just keep pushing. Let's push these guys to the brink of despair and get rid of them. You go. Oh, 
top I missed that horribly. Oh damn. Nice big bat nice big with their reinforcements right there. I didn't give it to them, they even give like basic militia good shields. You wouldn't see us giving our militia great shields. Honestly, guys, if I was you, I'd just immediately run. Save yourself the uh, woe of, like, even being in this battle. Yeah, they're going to get way too many men away. I refuse to let you get that many men away. That's just, that's just horseshit. Fuck you. Stop. I've lost one troop so far. Take that. All right, time to take Hongard Castle. They're already at sixty-two percent of. Please let me leave. In all fairness, they are, they are pro I don't know how much they must like all of their clans must be bankrupt. Oh man, there's a way to find out. Very poor. You're the leader clan and you're very poor. Yeah, because you literally gave us millions. How many armies do we have, by the way? Do we have like just one army, or we we got multiple? Oh, we got multiple, good. So it's not just me doing all the heavy lifting, then. Definitely feels like it, but apparently it's not. Next battle, ho! Uh. Yeah, we're gonna just take these guys oh, out. I think I think this is gonna be the last stretch of the game. Feels nice having victories under the bell. Right, let's get off our horse. Go have some fun. Ah, sucks. Okay, wait, there we go. Ah, damn it, I'm under aiming. See? I know what I'm doing sometimes. The only problem with that is the keyword is legitimately, unfortunately, sometimes. done with this we're gonna like i said we're gonna keep pushing and i think my goal is to have the Valandians like relegated to battalion territory as soon as possible and then we'll just we're just like we're not gonna give them any peace if we do give them peace we're just gonna continue fighting them again so like we're just gonna continue pushing and pushing and pushing until they don't exist and once they don't exist well game over game over man game over So it's open, you know. Don't you even fucking dare come near the door. No. If they'd have locked me out, I'd have been a little pissed, to be honest. Like, lads, you have arrows. Shoot at them. Most of you have fucking throwing implements as well. Throw shit at them. 
You know what? Fine, I'll do a keep out. God damn it, game. Fucking hate keep owls. Nope. The lords have decided your de your fate. Your fate equals death. Ow! The dickhead. Really hard to hear him because he's behind a fucking. Okay. It was actually a little easier than I thought. I'm coming, lads. Let me help. Hey, this must be scary. A bunch of militia defending the castle for the Lord as a bunch of Kuze Lords just charge in scarily, just all ang a scary angrily and just, you know, with many, many sharp implements and much heavier army armor than they have. So in a lot of ways, we actually really don't have, like, I specifically, or at least me and my, me and my companions, we do not have what's known as... Uh, like keep friendly weapons because our implements are long, long. There we go. There we go. Hongard castle taken. All right, let's go take Pravend. Then we'll take Drapland Castle, then uh, Vuxen Castle, and then the city. Oh god, no, they've, they've got no chance of getting out of this war. The only way they get out of this war is if our war exhaustion goes too high. There we go. Let's put these trebuchets back out. Beautiful. Yeah, the only reason I don't really want peace, is, other than obviously I'd, I want to like end the, uh, I want to end these guys, is because it's going to cost me. I, I, I've already paid influence to invite these people to an army. I want to make. If I run out of influence, then sure, that's fine. We'll end the war. Whatever. Can't really do anything at that point because I can't be a, a super aggressive. But as long as I have influence in the bank, I'm not dropping this army because it'll cost me more to redo it. I've made that mistake already. I'm not making it again. I have Khan Guard. I have troops I need. War is the only answer. They have a lot of archers here today. Or a lot of skirmish potentials over on there. Surprising. I mean, this is one of the core territories. You'd expect a decent amount of militia and whatnot. They even have some veteran militia. Look at them go. Like all of our men are, well, not all of them, but we're charging over here, so let's go. Let's get our uh, lovely glaive out and see if we can. Ooh. We kind of want to push ourselves up, but we want to kind of like stand where this person is standing. Somewhere we can get a little bit of snapshots off, that'd be uh, really good for us. We can help quite a bit then, you know? Kind of hard to get snapshots off here, which is 
first was completely fine. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, we are a little bit in shit position here with this weapon of ours. Come on, Glaive. Don't fail me now. Glaive, you are failing me right now. Yeah, two-handed sword is definitely better for sieging than a glaive. Too many men in. Right. I'm trying to use my bow the best of my ability to just kind of thin out the herd. Probably not going to work for you perfectly, but it'll work as best as it can, I guess. That's the only downside is there is going to be chances I'm about I'm gonna shoot a heavy a heavy like unit in the face or something. Okay, they seem to be pulling back a little bit. Nope, they were not. It was a. Uh, there's a boy. If I can get to a little in like a like a, a high position, I can do a little bit a little bit of damage here. But I need to be able to you know. There we go. Okay, we. I get to a high position just as my high position is no longer needed. That's fucking typical, that is. Absolutely goddamn typical. Right, I don't know where the men are, but let's uh, try and go, go, like, sit by the castle and try and... Um stop anybody who's trying to route. I don't know how many are going to route. I don't know how many are like already ahead of us, but... We cut off the ones who are, you know, are trying to route. And we might have a chance. Yep, yeah, we're able to stop, the, stop them routing completely good. That is what matters at the end of the day. Them not routing completely. Right. So how much territory do they have left? We have 59 and 48. They have 5 and 8. Yeah, something tells me that's not going to last for very long, but oh well. Let's go to continue kicking their in, kicking them in the shins. Yeah, the only reason I'm taking this straight away is because I don't like having a. Uh, I don't like uh, stuff behind me. Like, I don't like the idea of them having somewhere they can go to behind my line. Best to just, you know, clear up the mess straight away. Even more so when you have a huge army. Oh, I do like this castle. For your sergeants! Use my horse to get a lot closer this time. Uh, yep. Oh, this is just the yeah no, it is the castle I think of. Yeah, I do still like this castle. I just the wooden one on this version of it do look they look different enough that my brain just kick. You're you're routing into the. Okay. Can't say that's where I expected my horse to go there, but I also not say I'm upset with that. <laughs> not fucking let's do this. Come on then, ass wipes, let's do this. No, 
out. Thank you. Thank you. Quickly just take all these guys out, you know, have a field day, whatnot. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to route very well. But nope, no, I'm wrong, they're all routing, Jesus Christ. Alright, fair enough, they're going to definitely get a key ball out of me. I'll give them that much. Yep. You bastard. Well, what can you do, eh? You're not meant to defend yourself, you're routing. Stop it. Real fake news yeah. there. Routers can't defend themselves. Fine. You have us again in the key battle. Doesn't mean I'm just going to use my men though. Pussies just run. Ran. Absolute wusses. They retreat to the keep and then they retreat to the deepest part of the keep. Ow. Ow. I missed that. Last guy. Oh, mine. Pains in the ass. Right. Oh, yeah. The uh, the tide of uh, the Kuze tide is, is coming. And it is hitting hard. Okay, so we're gonna, they, they want a peace tree, so we're probably. I don't know if we declined it already or what, but. We'll know as soon as I get cancelled out of the siege, won't we? Because I have no interest in accepting their pieces. They are dying, whether they like it or not. Siege after siege, and I've just realized it's 29 minutes, which means we unfortunately cannot do this battle right now. Uh, ready up, but we'll uh, quickly retreat and we'll do it in the next part. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.